GM everyone, this is Boyan speaking from Liquidity and today I'll be showing you how you can mint some LUSD on StarkNet. Now before getting started you need to have some wallets installed. Obviously you need a StarkNet compatible wallet which can be either Argent X or uh, Bravos. And if you want to bridge some ETH over to use as collateral you need to have some Ethereum compatible wallet. But once you're ready with that, we can head over to the uh, front end, which is called Nimbora. So Nimbora.io is the URL. Uh, it's a pooling app, so they are connecting uh, StarkNet to Ethereum, uh, enabling you to um, take out or interact with Ethereum um, with uh, cheaper gas costs. You can have a look around, but we'll straight uh, head straight over to integrations. Scroll down to Liquidity. Um, and then once we are here, you have quite an extensive FAQ section. So I would urge you to have a read through this so that you know what you are getting yourself into here. Uh, but once you are done, go ahead and connect your wallet. So mine is already connected, but let me disconnect quickly so you'll go to connect wallet pick one of those i'll pick argent and this is then the front end now before we get into this let me show you how you can bridge some eth over from mainnet to starknet um, i would say the best option is to use the official uh, starknet bridge which is called starkgate so the domain is starkgate.starknet. IO. Um, if you haven't used it before, you would have to connect both wallets. So you need to connect a Ethereum wallet and a StarkNet wallet. And once this is done, you'll be able to bridge some ETH over. Okay, just FYI. Now let's get over to, to the borrowing itself. So uh, you have two options here. Uh, the biggest change compared to liquidity is that you cannot change your collateral or pick your choose your collateral ratio. It is predetermined. So right now the ratios are 453 and 300 respectively. Those obviously change with how um, ETH price moves and I know that they are pretty high, but this is what we are working with for this alpha release. Later, riskier options will come in but for the time being we have those so let's pick this one for example and go to borrow so on the borrow panel you can see that you can select your ETH uh, amount but you cannot select your LUSD amount that is as I mentioned uh, because of the predetermined collateral ratio um, of this integration let me show you how this works. So if we pick in, if we put in um, if let's say 0 0.01, you will see you can take out or you will take out 5.8 LUSD. But if we change it to 0.2, it's 11. So the amount of ETH you enter determines the debt in LUSD that you can take out. Okay, so this is fixed. And the max you can do now for the time being is 0 0.2 ETH, so that's the maximum, it's capped. Um, you can see that the gas price is rather cheap compared to Ethereum with um, $5, but you can also speed it up. So if you want to do that, you're basically topping up the batch. Um, here it doesn't change because only one person is missing to the, to the full batch. That's why uh, the amount is the same. But if the batch is not full, you will see a higher amount here. So let's try to be then the last person which um, tops up the batch. So we selected our ETH, we see our debt and we click on borrow. Then our StarkNet wallet pops up. And once the calculations are done, you just click confirm. And that's pretty much it. Now you will see that this transaction is pending. 
So this transaction is now pooled. It is bridged over to uh, it is bridged over to mainnet, and a loan is taken out then on uh, Ethereum mainnet and bridged back to Starknet. So this whole process depends on how fast the batching uh, is uh, finalized, so how fast people take it out. And then it also depends on a Starknet finality, which, is believe, which I believe is between 8 to 12 hours, bottom line being before you will see any debt or before you can receive any LUSD in your wallet, you would have to wait 8 to 12 hours. So you will see it's pending. It will stay like that uh, for, as I said, 8 to 12 hours and then it will appear on your uh, wallet. So that's pretty much it. Again, I urge you to read through the FAQ section, not here, but here, sorry. And if you have any questions, so if you have questions about borrowing and about liquidity, head over to the liquidity discord. If you have questions about batching, pooling and disintegration, then please head over to the uh, Nimbora discord. I link both of those in the description below. And uh, yeah, have fun. Thank you.